That, of course, uh, was not what uh, the unions wanted. Francis O'Grady is the Secretary General of the British Trades Union Congress, joins us now. And good morning, uh, good morning to you. Uh, you. You were, of course, a very prominent campaigner for Remain, and this is obviously not what you wanted. What's your reaction, first of all? Well... Of course, we accept the result. The British people have spoken. But the first priority now has to be about building confidence to stop the economy crashing. And uh, we're calling for a national action plan to protect British jobs. And that has to involve business and unions because workers mustn't pay the price of this Brexit. And yet you were warning just a day or so ago that wages will be £30 a week lower. It poses a a risk to jobs and rights at work. Well, we certainly believe it does. And of course, working people already feel they paid the price for the financial crash in 2008. Uh, They mustn't pay the price for this one. But the real priority right now is that we've got to do everything we can uh, to stop the economy crashing and to protect jobs and we we think we need uh, everybody now needs unity to focus on that top Mm. priority this is very very important for people's livelihoods and their futures it was of course working people who voted for this absolutely and uh, of course trade union members are no different to the country as a whole but we had a responsibility to tell the truth as we saw it in in terms of the risks real risks uh, to pay to jobs and rights of a brexit but right now i think the focus has to be when we're seeing the pound uh, falling uh, and we know the impact that will have on prices and livelihoods and uh, pensions that we need to get around a table business mm. and unions and government and uh, work together to protect jobs. Given how passionately you feel about this, I wonder what you thought of Tim Farron, the Lib Dem leader's comments about Jeremy Corbyn, accusing him of utter spinelessness uh, over the campaign. Look, Labour's position was clear and it it was remain. Uh, David Cameron's position was clear and so was ours. I think what we have to do now is is heal the wounds in the country. I don't think I think this is about much more, frankly, uh, than the careers of political leaders or political parties. This is about uh, working people in the country who need security for their future and need to be confident that they won't end up paying the price yet again. Francis O'Grady, thank you very much.